In this short video, we're going to look at the effects of additional poles and zeros. Uh, the motivation. Now, you know, we, we completely understand second order system without zeros. We know what the step response is. We can relate the step response to system parameters. We can uh, take the system parameters and relate them to time domain specifications. And from time domain specifications, we can find system parameters. Now, we can uh, get higher order systems third order, fourth order, fifth order systems simply by adding poles and zeros to the canonical second order systems. On the other hand, we can take a high order system and approximate to the uh, second order, smallest second order system. So if you have a fourth order system, maybe you can knock off uh, two orders to get a approximate second order system. Why, why this is important? Because this will allow you to do back of the envelope calculations for the rough controller design that you can use later um, using a tool like MATLAB to do the full-fledged controller design for the higher order system. Now let's look at adding a pole to a second order system. So this is our canonical second order system, no zeros. These are the pole locations, a complex pole pair in the, in the complex plane. Now this is the underdamped case. Now if we add a pole at location A, this is how the transfer function changes. That's the pole. Now I had mo I multiplied this KDC by A to maintain the DC gain. If you look at the DC gain of both these systems, it is equal to KDC. The DC gain should not change. Now let's look at what happens. That's the modified transfer function, which is equal to Y gamma of S divided by U of S. Y gamma of S is the modified step response. Now, assuming that u of s is step, this is the Laplace transform of the modified step response. We do a partial fraction expansion, like so. Now, all the terms from here to here are part of the original step response. This is an additional term. If we do Laplace inverse, you get this becomes e to the power of minus 80. And the rest of all these terms this comes from this, this comes from this, and this comes from this it is the original step response. So in addition to the original step response, you have this exponential response. Now let's look what happens when we place the uh, pole at various locations. Here we have the original system in black, that's system SYS. I have put poles at three different locations at minus one, minus four, and minus 10. That corresponds to system 1, system 2, and system 3. So what is system 1? System 1 is the original poles plus this pole. System 2 is the original poles plus this pole. System 3 is the original poles and this pole. The corresponding step responses are shown here. Now if you notice, for this pole that is to the right of the original poles, closer to the imaginary axis right here. This is the response, the blue one. What you can see is this looks like an exponential response rather than underdamped response. So what happens is this pole completely determines what the system is doing. If you look at system two with a pole, additional pole at this location, that response is right here, the green part. So you see some of the oscillatory response or underdamped response, but it's slower. And if you go further away, it's a red response, a red one for system three with the pole look the second, the additional pole at minus 10, it's closer to the original response. So you could imagine as you go further and further away with the additional pole, this a modified response is going to go closer and closer to the original response. So further you away you are from the original poles, the lesser the effect of the additional pole. In general, additional poles make the system response slower, you see. See rise time for this is slower than this, which is slower than this, which is slower than this. Now let's look at adding a zero to a second order system. 
that's our original system we add a 0 at a that's a 0 at a and I've divided kdc by a to maintain the same dc gain if you look at the dc gain of this and this both are equal to kdc now what is this now so you can write g of comma as this this is a transfer function I can write g of comma as kdc by divided by a times I just basically separated these two terms out like so now if you observe what is this and what is this of course you need to bring the kdc inside now if you do that this looks like s times g of s divided by a and kdc times omega n squared divided by s squared plus 2 zeta omega n s plus omega n squared is g of s so you can write the response as s u of s g of, g of s divided by a plus u of s g of s now u of s g of s s times u of s g of s is s times y of s because u of s times g of s is y of s u of s times g of s is y of s now if you do Laplace inverse Laplace inverse of s y of s is the derivative of the original response Laplace inverse of y of s is obviously y of t so the modified response y gamma of t is y dot of t divided by a plus y of t so what happens if a is very small then this term dominates so closer you are to the imaginary axis y dot dominates the further away you are from the imaginary axis when a more the magnitude of a becomes very large this number becomes very small and then the modified response is the same as the old response now let's look at what actually happens when you add additional zeros so just like we did before I have the original system this is the location of the poles of the second order system I added a zero here to get system one next what I did was to the original system I added a zero at this location to get system two and after that I added this zero right here to get system three so on the right hand side is to see the step response so this is the step response corresponding to system 1 that is the original system with a 0 at this location you can notice that the rise time has decreased significantly and the percentage overshoot has increased significantly as the zeros the new zeros go further from the imaginary axis the influence of the additional zero on the system response keeps on decreasing so this when we have the zero at this location red location this is the system response which is quite close to the original response